the Joe Rogan experience. No, I, I lived the life. I have, to, I have to admit, it wasn't always cost-effective, but I, <laughs> I, I, I lived my gimmick. <laughs> but yeah, but it's such a fun life, man. Yeah. What year did you start? Like, what what year did you make your first like pro wrestling matches? Seventy three. Seventy three. I started training in, in fall of seventy two, and I made my I had my first match in January of seventy three. Those are the old days, man. The Killer yeah. Kowalski days. Vern Gagne. Wow. Hey, what's yeah. crazy? Crusher, Bruiser. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but you started wrestling after the plane crash, right? No, the plane crash was in seventy five. Oh wow! I wrestled. So three tell years. us about the plane crash. Um, we were going for, from um, Charlotte to Wilmington, North Carolina, for outdoor show, 10,000 Legion Stadium. Where that's where Michael's from. Um, that's the first time I met Michael Jordan. Not not at that show, but I met him at the matches in Wilmington. And um, we, I, what happened ultimately is he took f five of us on the plane, and he. We didn't know at the time he was carrying no fuel because we were 1,400 pounds over gross. Right. So we get there and hit it a little bit of a headwind. We're between seven and 8,000. It's not a pressurized plane, so that's not 310. And um, he did what's called passive point of no return. He should have landed in Raleigh and refilled, but he's looking and saying it's 100 miles, right? So unbeknownst to us, the guy who was in front of me, Johnny Valentine, who got paralyzed, Kept looking at the gas gauge and looking back at me and going, uh, uh. I was going, Johnny had that dry sense of humor. Well, we're flying along, all of a sudden, the right engine goes boop, 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 maybe like six times over, like you see in the movies, and then bingo, pin, right? I went, shit. He reaches down, and he pulls up to the reserve, natural reaction, there is no reserve gas. Left engine went, beer, boom. And instead of a, a we went, flew into a, uh, Orchard, tree orchard, right? Normally, a little cartwheel of small aircraft. We were going so fast, we tore it down and landed in a railroad embankment, stuck at the ground at 230 miles an hour. Ooh. So we were probably going you know, well over 300. And we're just uh, <clears throat> literally 200 yards from the runway. Wow. So he tried. And you're, you... He died. And he, he never regained consciousness. And two chicks came, both engaged to him, double, double knockout at the door the hospital door. Oh, boy. I told the guy, he says, he goes, <laughs> Joey, you and I could talk all day. So <laughs> they're putting us in the, in the ambulance, right? It's like the old military style, not like the ones today that are like a, like a hospital room, right? You're putting you in the rack, right? And he goes, I think we might lose this one. So I go, <laughs> I told the guy, I said, I think he's talking about me. I said, man, go with my shaving kit. There's a letter to a chick named Sheila. Said, tell Sheila I love her, but not to come see me. <laughs> <laughs> it's last I've seen of Sheila. <laughs> oh, boy. But the guy showed up 10 years later at the match. He says, you remember me? I'm the guy you <clears throat> got the letter for you. I said, thanks. <laughs> so how bad did you get injured in the accident? Broke my back three places, T10, uh, 11, and 12. So it fractured the actual bones C of the Compression spine? fracture, yeah. I used to be a six foot two. So they had to fuse your back? No, nope, no surgery at all. Really? Yeah, they just didn't think I'd ever wrestle again. And I, I, I'm, you know, that goes, that was what, what we're going to do, right? They said you're never going to wrestle again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was in 75, <clears throat> would you say? When was it? It was October crash? of 75, and I was oh. back in the ring in March of 76. Yeah. I went from and... 255 to 180, back to 218. Wow. But I never got myself to land flat on my back again, ever. Everybody knows the land on my hip and my side. Yeah, because but, of your back injury. Yeah, just couldn't get myself to land flat. So the promoter I was wrestling said, if you don't take a backdrop, that's where you flip over a guy's shoulder and go up in here like six, seven feet, boom. I'm going to make you wrestle an hour every night until you do. So I go, after two weeks of wrestling, and you know, some of the crowds back then were. 250, 300 people, you know what I mean, five bucks ringside, Fisherville, North Carolina, or Fisherville, Virginia, middle of nowhere, right, one hour every night. Mm -hmm. Finally, I said, damn it, I'm just going to take the backdrop, throw me in, hit the remote, took it, boom. That was over, but I, I just couldn't get myself to land flat on my back. When you did, what happened? Were you all right? I was fine. 
Yeah. So it was just psychological. All psychological, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. 